This video will cover the topic using i to rewrite square roots of negative numbers. Simplifying the square root of a negative number is very similar to simplifying the square root of a positive number. The only difference is solving a negative square root requires the imaginary number i. We use the letter i for square root of negative 1. For any positive real number a, we have the following property. Square root of negative a equals square root of a times square root of negative 1. Can we do an example? Yes, of course. Consider the following example. Square root of negative 4. Rewrite this expression in terms of i. According to the product property of square roots, this can be written as square root of 4 times square root of negative 1. Since we know that 4 is a perfect square which results in 2 and square root of negative 1 is equal to i, the expression of square root of negative 4 can be written as 2i. What if there's a square root of a number that's not a perfect square and is also negative? If there is not a perfect square, we use the same rule to rewrite it using factors that are perfect squares. Consider the following example. Square root of negative 18. Rewrite this expression in terms of i. What do you think is the first step in writing this expression? Well, since there's a negative sign in the square root, we can rewrite this as the square root of 18 times the square root of negative 1. Yes, that is correct. Since we know that 9 times 2 is 18 and 9 is a perfect square, our next step is to write our problem as square root of 9 times square root of 2 times square root of negative 1. Then we simplify as much as possible. Square root of 9 is 3 and square root of negative 1 is i. So our result for square root of negative 18 is 3i square root of 2. I think I have an idea of how to solve problems related to this topic. But let me summarize to get a better understanding. In summary, whenever there's a negative number under a square root sign, first we rewrite the expression as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of that number. Then we simplify the expression by replacing the square root of negative 1 with i. And finally, we simplify the remaining square root. Yes, that is correct. It looks like you understand the topic of using i to rewrite square roots of negative numbers.